Okay, so um, what we have um, here is a dog that needs to be ventilated because she's not breathing very well. So we're doing IPPV on a Bane breathing system. So to do that, um, we have to, the first and most important thing is to watch the dog's chest quite carefully. It's very easy when you're breathing for patients to over inflate them. And the best way um, to figure out if you're doing that is to watch their chest, not to look at the bag. A lot of people spend all their time watching the bag and they don't actually look at the dog. What you need to do is work this with your hands and look at the patient while you're doing your IPPV. So what we're doing to ventilate the patient is we close the APL valve on the Bain system and we close it somewhere between 75 and 100 percent. We squeeze the bag, watching the patient, and then open the valve again. Okay, and we're just doing that um, maybe every three or four seconds to give ourselves a rate of about 10 or 15 breaths a minute. So close the valve, squeeze the bag, watching your patient, open the valve again. Okay, so what we're looking for with the ventilation, remember, it's just a really modest chest rise, just slightly more than you'd expect to see if the dog was breathing for itself. We don't need anything e exaggerated, just a reasonably normal physiological chest rise. And it's important to remember that this dog probably only breathes maybe 300 or 400 mils of, of gas every time it, it breathes in. And your bag here is two liters, so don't feel you have to squeeze the whole bag into the dog's chest because you'd be massively overventilating it. You just need a gentle squeeze of the bag to give you that normal physiological chest rise.